One of the biggest problems in the 21st century is having a bad Wi-Fi system. It can literally ruin pretty much everything you do nowadays. Unfortunately, upgrading your Wi-Fi experience can be quite the complex process and it goes far beyond just upgrading your internet package because more often than not, the root problem is actually your local Wi-Fi network. Well, thankfully, our partner and sponsor for today's video, TP-Link understands that and they might have quite the value proposition for you. Introducing their latest and greatest Deco XC75 Pro Mesh Wi-Fi system. This bad boy here it has some industry-leading technology, including Wi-Fi 6E functionality. It also has a tri-band network that can support a total speed of up to 5,400 megabits per second. Additionally, it can support up to 200 distinct devices at the exact same time. And it also has a number of other powerful features. And it all comes together beautifully in this seamless AI system that can connect multiple mesh networks in the same residence. And there is a lot to learn about this device. And hopefully after I'm done, you can get a pretty good idea of whether or not this is the right mesh Wi-Fi system for you. The Deco X75 Pro comes in a two pack and a three pack configuration retailing at $399 and $599 respectively. For most people, the two pack configuration is the perfect value as it has an overall area of 5,500 square feet worth of coverage while the three pack can cover as much as 7,200 square feet. So you definitely have both options depending on how much area you have to cover. The XC75 Pro comes in a really neat yet simple design. Design. So essentially it's a cylinder, it's a high quality plastic finish. The top of it has this really cool black circle design and the rest of the body is essentially white in color. You'll notice at the bottom you have a LED status indicator bar and you also of course have the Deco 6C branding. Now on the back side is where all the magic happens. So you have one DC jack to power on the actual router and then you have three ports, one of which supports a monstrous 2.5 gigabits per second ethernet connection and the other two are standard gigabit ports. So you have plenty of connectivity options. Setting up the mesh Wi-Fi system is a simple affair. You simply plug it in and place it wherever it is you're gonna keep it. And then at that point, you just install TP-Link's Deco app. You quickly sign in and then it will automatically detect the router, follow the setup screen, and after a couple of minutes, the router is good to go. Adding an additional node or connectivity point is just as simple. You power it on and then you can automatically add it to the existing mesh network you've created. So it's a super user-friendly process, but the Deco app is a very powerful tool in general. Aside from having basic functionality, like allowing you to name your network and name network devices, see what's connected, see how much usage each device is taking. You can also perform slightly more advanced functions like dedicating a certain amount of bandwidth per device, prioritizing them, enabling guest mode, configuring how the tri-band network is used, and of course, customizing the use of the six gigahertz network as well that is proprietary to the 6E Wi-Fi functionality. And there are a ton of other functionalities, like of course, also being able to perform over the air updates directly from the app itself. So definitely a very powerful tool and very easy to use at that. As far as performance is concerned, the XC75 Pro isn't playing around. So with a ethernet connection, keeping in mind that I have a total download speed of one gigabit per second with Rogers, I was actually able to squeeze all the potential bandwidth and I was getting speeds of around 940 megabits per second, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, but that was the maximum bandwidth that I had available to me. Now, in theory, if I did have a higher connectivity or higher connection speed, I could get up to 2.5 gigabits per second thanks to that dedicated ethernet jack that supports 2.5 gbps so definitely impressive functionality over there for the vast majority of us we're going to use wireless devices now keeping in mind that wireless speed varies greatly depending on the type of device the wi-fi standard it's rocking as well as other factors like your physical location i'm happy to report that the xe75 pro has some pretty impressive speeds for example with my iphone 13 pro which has a wi-fi 6 chip i was able to get a comfortable 700 plus megabits per second being in the same room as any of the connectivity routers. But let's say you're away from it, several meters away or across a couple of rooms, you can still get a comfortable 500 plus megabits per second of download speed. And all this is very impressive given that you get a ton of interference from let's say number of walls you have in your house or magnetic or electrical interferences. It's a very steady connection. It ran over multiple tests and it always got consistent results. Now let's say you use a more modern 
wireless 6e device on the other hand you can get a comfortable 750 megabits plus download speeds which again is very nice and if you are seriously looking for a uninterrupted connection or you have a lot of interference you can always opt to go for the 6 gigahertz network that comes dedicated with the 6e x75 pro network system and that's really helpful especially if your 5 and 2.4 gigahertz networks are always cumbered with a lot of interference while performance is quite impressive, the real MVP has to be the range. TP-Link wasn't joking when they say that the two pack alone can cover as much as 5,500 square feet of area. While my condo is about 1,500 square feet, so I couldn't test it within the confines of those walls, just going about 20 to 30 meters away from my condo, I was still getting a full three signal bars. That is super impressive and still getting some pretty nice download speeds. Now, for most people, the two pack will be more than enough, but it's good to know if you truly do have a massive property, you can opt to get the three pack, which can cover up to 7,200 square feet and is quite an impressive range. One final aspect I do want to mention is the fact that the AI system on the Deco X. 75 Pro is fantastic. For example, I was running a couple of downloads on my computer while updating a file on my PlayStation 5 and playing it in general. And at the same time, my wife was actually watching some Netflix on her phone. All of these activities happened simultaneously. At no point did we have any sort of buffering or slowdowns. It was distributed evenly. And it just shows that these systems are designed for the future. They know how to split bandwidth in the right manner. And it's just really good to have that because believe it or not, a lot of mesh Wi-Fi systems aren't that good at multi-load handling and they often have frequent interruptions, but the AI system here is very stable and top-notch. In summary, with a starting retail price of $399 USD, the two-pack configuration is more than enough for most people. You get amazing performance combined with great coverage, you have the latest Wi-Fi 6E standard, and believe it or not, this is one of the cheapest 6E mesh Wi-Fi networks you can get in the market right now, but at no point does TP-Link make any compromise to achieve that price. You are getting a ton of cutting-edge features over here, many of which I didn't even cover in this video, but you can learn more all about them by actually going down to the video description below and going on the product link and learning about all the cool features this thing has to offer. Let me know what you think of the XE75 Pro and if you would consider getting one. Thank you so much for watching this review. Hopefully I was able to provide some insight about this product and help you make the right purchase decision. Catch you in the next one.